Good morning, grade twos, and I believe Noah sees joining us. Um, we are going to move into unit five for writing. So we have finished now unit four, where we are taking true facts about, we did a lot of animals um, and working in gardens, um, roosters and, and chickens, um, and how dogs are our best friend, and took true facts and put um, picked out the most interesting or ones that we thought were important and put into a paragraph. We're going to move to unit five, and unit five is where we write from pictures. So we're not going to have a source text that we're reading anymore to get our information. We are going to have three pictures that we get to put the story together. So I want you to almost pretend that you're a reporter and a reporter goes to say um, an accident or something exciting happened and what they see and then they put the pieces together of the story. So we're going to have three pictures and we're going to ask ourselves some questions to help to decide how we're going to tell the story of what is happening. And just like in unit three, you can add names. Um, you get to add all of the details to make the story because we're going to look at the pictures and there's actually probably a lot more happening. What happened before that? What's going to happen right after? Who is that? What is it? Where are they doing it? Okay. And why? And we're going to go through that. Okay. So this is unit five that we're going to do. Okay. Now in your package, you are going to have a page with three pictures, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to need scissors and a glue stick, but before you hit pause, I'm going to ask that you are going to cut out these three, cut them so they're three separate pictures. Also in your package, you're going to see papers with a one, two, and a three. Now don't glue them in until we check, okay? But you're going to cut the three pictures and decide what do you think happens first? What do you think happens next? And what's the last thing to happen? I want you to put the pictures in order of how we would tell the story about our bird in this picture. Okay? So press pause and I want you to cut them out. Don't glue them yet though. Just stick them on top of the pages to see. And then I will put a poster up so you can see the correct order, okay? But I want you to do that on your own. So don't press play until you've got them cut out and decide where, what order do you think they go in? What's the first one, the second one, and the third one, okay? So press pause and cut them out and get them in order. While you are doing that, I'm going to, that's our picture. So if you're watching now, it's because you've already cut them out and you've already got them in the order that you think that they go in, okay? And so the order, I hope you can see, can you see the bottom one? Okay, so I hope you picked the bird building the nest and we're gonna glue that on the page with the number one, okay? And the second one is where there are the three blue eggs in there, okay? You're gonna glue that in a second. And the third box is where the eggs have hatched into little birdies. Can you see that? Okay. So what I want you to do now is I want you to glue each of the pictures in their order. The building of the nest, the eggs go on the second one, and the baby birds go in the third. So press pause and glue those in to your page, please. Okay. Okay, so you've got them glued in. We're gonna begin with the first page. So we're gonna begin with this page, but you've glued the picture of the bird building the nest up here. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna start with, with the bird building the nest. Okay, so that's the one we're gonna start with. And we are going to create the keyword outline. Now, you're going to notice, maybe I can sit it down here like this. What you're going to notice, and I'm going to turn this down a little bit so that you can see the picture too, okay? 
What you're going to notice is that the I, the Roman numeral one, okay, so this is for picture number one. This is the next picture, I'm gonna call it, okay? So we're gonna have the Roman numeral one, and this is going to be what's called the central fact, and that means exactly what we can see in the picture. Later down below, we will add our details, but for now, we want to, the Roman numeral one is just going to be to state exactly what we see, okay? So you're filling out your sheet, okay? And if you would like to change some things up to make it yours, you're welcome to do that, okay? Just like we do in the classroom, if you wanna pick a different name or describe something a little bit different, that's fine. Now the first thing is going to be about the bird finishing or building the nest. Okay, now I'm gonna give my bird a name. You can choose your own. I'm gonna say Betty, okay, is going to be the first one. So I'm gonna say Betty, and then I'm gonna say finishes next. So remember, the Roman numeral I is going to be exactly what you can see in the picture, not you adding details about how it's happening, what's going to happen. You could just add the name if you'd like, okay? So maybe you don't want Betty, you want something else. You pick your name, and I'm going to say finishes next, okay? Now, now we're going to ask ourselves some questions, okay? Like, for example, where? Where is this happening? Where is Betty building the nest? Where do you think Betty is building the nest? Okay, well, I'm going to, I think the birds built the nest in the spring this time of year, right? I'm going to say the spring, and where do I want to say that Betty's doing this? I want to say that Betty is doing this in my backyard. But I'm not going to live where I normally live. I'm going to pick a new place that I'm going to live. I'm going to pick Ottawa. I'm going to say that Betty is, it's in the springtime, and Betty's in a backyard finishing her nest in the city of Ottawa. Okay? Now, we can talk about what kind of things is she using to build the nest? What kind of things? do you think that she's going to use, okay? What would be something maybe in the back yard, okay? I'm going to say maybe some, what was I going to say? Oh, I had an idea. I'm going to say that Betty found a cherry tree, okay? So I'm gonna put found a cherry tree. Okay? And the tree is going to be beautiful along with the blossoms. Okay? So she's found a cherry tree. She's going to get on a branch. Okay? And I'm going to say that it has very pretty blossoms. So Betty loves, Betty loves how beautiful the cherry tree is, okay? So they're in a backyard where there's a really nice cherry tree, branch, beautiful blossoms, and she's gonna build the nest with some twigs and leaves, okay? So I'm gonna say build, N for nest, and I'm gonna say twigs, and I'm gonna say some leaves that were left over from the fall, okay? So you can ask yourself some things of who is the bird. You can give the bird a name. Thinking about where this is happening. It's in the spring. When is it happening in the spring? Where in the backyard of Ottawa? Okay. Um, what? They, she found a cherry tree. The branches, they were so pretty. She wanted to make her nest on this beautiful tree. Um, and how is she going to do this? She's going to build the nest with twigs 
and leaves, okay? And then we've got the clincher down here where I'm going to finish with, she's got a neatly built nest, okay? So I'm gonna say neatly built nest, okay? So this is where you get to add details. The first part is going to be actually what you see, but then you can add where this is happening, what's happening, how does she, how does your bird, maybe it's a male, how um, helping, right, to build the nest. <laughs> um, maybe not uh, laying the eggs themselves, right, but helping. So you get to choose that of how and where and when are they doing this? You get to add those details, okay? So you're welcome to use mine, but you're also welcome to add your own details so that when you go to write it, um, that you can be excited about it, okay? So you can think of names, um, and you can think of all the details of where this is happening, what's she gonna use, where does she wanna build the nest, and all of those things, okay? So that is what I want you to do today for writing. I want you to complete the keyword outline for the first one and make sure you glue in your picture of the building of the nest. And we will see you on Wednesday where we will do our second picture keyword outline.